Good morning to you. Dr. Todd Bell joins me in this week's Doctors, and we're talking about something that you're seeing in kids right here in our area. Yeah, so every year we get uh, some uh, GI illness, and as a matter of fact, it circulates all year round. There's always somebody, some has a stomach bug or mm -hmm. someone has some vomiting or diarrhea. Not a pleasant topic to talk about at breakfast time, but it's, uh, it's just a fact of life. What's a little bit interesting or different this year is we've been really seen a, a surge of something called rotavirus just here locally. And we don't have a lot of statistics on this. This is mainly anecdotal, but we've seen a lot of kids that um, have a, a, this rotavirus. Now, rotavirus is a type of virus that causes vomiting and diarrhea, usually in toddlers. And um, uh, it's usually something that actually we're able to prevent by using a vaccine. And what's different this year is that we're seeing it in children who are a little bit older than the average kid with rotavirus. We're seeing it at a little bit later time in the season. Uh, usually we see this earlier in the year rather than in May when it's 99 or 100 degree weather. And we're also seeing it some in children who've already been previously vaccinated. We don't exactly know what all this means. Has there been a little bit of a shift in the type of virus strain that's causing infection locally? Um, and all that's still being kind of looked at and worked on. But the point of it is, as we oftentimes say with virus, we want folks to be doing lots of good hand washing. And uh, especially after a child touches their face or you change a diaper on a child uh, or after you use the restroom, we want people to be washing their hands before they do anything else. So this is something if your, your kid's sick, take them to their doctor. Is there a test that they perform? There is a test that they can do. There's not an actual treatment for rotavirus specifically. So, so really we want people to be encouraging fluid intake, making sure those kids are able to get enough fluid down so that they don't get dehydrated because that can take a child who's ill and make them much sicker. <laughs> But the, um, it's still something that if you're concerned about it, if your child has, seems to be having a, uh, just a copious amount of diarrhea, then they probably need to check in with their doctor. All right, Dr. Bell, thank you.